Morning Show with Charlie James. Live from Washington, D.C. this morning at the Federation for American Immigration Forum. Glad to have you along with us on this Wednesday morning. We are at... uh, at a um, uh, the wonderful hotel, the uh, Phoenix Place Hotel here in uh, Washington, D.C., with a great view of the Capitol right down the street. We are joined this morning by a very special guest. His name is Jamil Shaw. And Mr. Shaw lost his son back on March 2, 2008. Jamil Shaw, Jr., nicknamed Jazz. Um, and it's thank you for being on the program this morning. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you for inviting me. I certainly wish it was under better circumstances <laughs> because I'm sure there's just about any place in the world you would rather be right. uh, than here talking about this. Your son was assassinated by an uh, an illegal alien gangbanger mm-hmm. one day after he had rele- been released from jail. Right. Take us back to that day. How did you hear about what had happened? Um, I heard the gunshot. I was um, waiting for him to come home from the mall mm-hmm. so we can go get him some track spikes. He had a track meet that Friday. Right. And um, uh, he was. He said he was right around the corner, and I heard the two gunshots, and I knew, wait, hey, that was right outside. That right. was like in the gun range. So I went outside to see, and he was laying in the street dead. Really? Yeah, even even right now, my brain is like, you know, yeah, you yeah. I believe it. It's know? hard for you to comprehend even yeah. after all these years. That happened right. March 2nd, 2008. Yeah. And you still can't wrap your head around what happened that night. All right. So tell us about this. The guy who pulled the trigger. Mm-hmm. Illegal alien. Mm-hmm. He had he already had gun charges against yeah, him. Three. He had three already and yeah. still never been deported. And before that, he was he was known for shooting the houses. District attorney told me that um, he was involved in three other murders and mm-hmm. they can't get nobody to come forward. So he's probably killed four people right. before my son, you know. And he was, uh, like I said, legal in the country. He was brought in when he was three years old. Mm-hmm. His mother and father were illegal. His whole family, like a whole community of them. And they were just all illegal and all gang banging, all criminal records. I mean, not just saying they're in the gang. They're in the gang database, Department right. of Justice. He had hardcore um, then did so much stuff, you know. I mean, he has, was known for shooting into houses. Mm-hmm. You know, he had raped people. I mean, he was just the worst one. And the district attorney, well, the LAPD went undercover and saw that there was a sub clique they called the the uh, varsity squad of the 18th street okay. and these were like 112 shooters and two shot callers this was the lapd in trial testifying that they went undercover saw that they were there but they didn't do nothing they just hey they're there and left them like that. so they're just they're aware of it but mm-hmm. they won't do anything to stop it won't do anything to stop how it. does that make you feel as a father when you were standing there watching your son dead in the street how did that mm-hmm. make you feel oh man i was pissed off even today just thinking about it it's like yeah like, they don't care because it was my son, you know, but if it was their kids, they would... Right. Yeah, they would know what it's like. Right, so, and your son was indeed shot because of the color of his skin. That's what right. you found out later, right? Right, that's what district attorney proved in court. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So these uh, Hispanic, these Mexican gangbangers coming in um, and, and shooting people just because of the color of their skin. Since your murder... You have been very active going around the country speaking out against illegal immigration, and you've often appeared with Donald Trump at some right. of his rallies, right? Yeah. Yes. How do you feel Donald Trump's policies are as far as, uh, as far as immigration are concerned? Do you agree with him? Oh, yeah. I wish he'd do more because yeah. I remember the first day when he came out, he just said, they're sending us rapists. I remember watching him saying, what about the murderers? <laughs> you know, yeah. Rape is really bad, but murder is worse. Right. But he didn't even go there, and they still was on his case, even though they, they could look on the Internet and find thousands and thousands of people mm-hmm. murdered by illegal aliens. Right. So the evidence is there. And uh, and you don't think uh, Donald Trump in some of his uh, cases has actually gone far enough? No, because I, I, you know, because you know, there's people on his on his team that want him to calm down, don't say mm-hmm. this, so that, don't say that. Right. So I wish he would just be be himself. Right. You know, the people will rally behind you. So you are working with Representative Walter Jones, a Republican out of California, on House Resolution 1041. It is the Jamil Shaw II Memorial Act of 2015 and 16, and you're also working on Jamil's law. And this is a proposed ordinance 
that would refuse sanctuary city protection to any illegal alien gang member in the city of Los Angeles. Do you feel like they that like Los Angeles is a sanctuary city? Oh yeah, it's a dump. It's the it's the <laughs> epicenter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we live there. We see it's like a third world country. Mm-hmm. People are doing everything you do in Mexico, cooking on the sidewalks. It just you know, it just to the point where even the black politicians have sold us out. Right. I mean, they allowed the black communities just to be decimated by illegal immigration. Are you excited at the thought that somebody like Donald Trump could come along and make some real immigration reform in this country? Oh, yeah. He's giving us real hope, real change. You know, none of that Obama stuff. You right. Know? He's going to do what he say. That's why they're so adamant to getting rid of him, because yeah. they know he's going to do it. That's right. Well, mm-hmm. sir, I, I certainly appreciate being on, you being on the program this morning. Jamil Shaw, mm-hmm. uh, so sorry for your loss, but, but thank you for coming on the program mm-hmm. and sharing your story with us. Thank you for thank having me. Thank you very me. much. Awesome.